Hey there, it's Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we are getting started looking at NEMS Linux 1.5.2. For those not aware, NEMS is a complete network monitoring solution for the Raspberry Pi and other single board computers. I just happen to have Raspberry Pi around and so we're going to install it on that and it will eventually replace the uh, Raspberry Pi that I've got running on my network uh, running NEMS currently. So let's get started. Okay, here's the acid test. I'm going to flip the switch on the Raspberry Pi and hopefully we will get some video happening here. There we go. So I flashed the SD card yesterday and I've covered that process in other videos. There are a number of tools you can use to flash an, uh, an SD card and that is beyond the scope of this video because it would just make it too long. So we've got the cursor, it stopped blinking. So we should be just about booted up and it restarted. Aha, that's a good sign. I guess it would be a little helpful if I had an ethernet cable plugged in. So let's try that and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so our brand new NEMS Linux machine has booted up and we're about to connect to it to, for the first time via SSH. The default admin user is NEMS admin and the password is the same. And with that we are in, we are on the current version. So we'll jump back to the website for a moment and so we want to run the nems init command we'll paste that in and it gets you to a basic setup type wizard Set the time zone. Should be good with the default on this, but take a look at what it's set to. English, US, UTF-8, that should be fine. Okay. Okay. And we'll let it complete its wizard and new username And it's going to generate SSL certificates, SSH certificates, the RSA keys, all the stuff that we need to do that. 
and it says we can now visit that address to get started. I am actually going to, let's see, we'll do that right now. And then we will reboot it before I go too much further. Okay. NEMS Linux for the Raspberry Pi 4. And you can see down at the bottom, we are on version 1.5.2. And so we'll go under configuration, NEM server overview, advanced, accept risk. Log in with our password, username and password that we set up. All right, and it gives you the hardware ID. It's a unique identifier. IP address, server alias, all this good stuff. Number of hosts one, services nine. So basically this is just a clean Setup, we've got the settings tool, install updates as released, that should be good. Not running it in a production environment, just on my home network. All right, we should be able to skip most of these settings for the moment. Uh, one interesting one is the background and that lets you get a different image every day by default. Of course, you can upload your own image or you can, you know, set it to a legacy or to a color. Uh, but let's stick with the image for this, uh, for the time being. And I think we're all set there. And then, of course, there is nconf. It does the job for people that are familiar with it. So um, that's it's nice to have it there. So we are going to move on. It does have cockpit installed, the Raspi monitor, uh, the Monit service monitor. And they've added a few things since I've last installed a new version. Uh, Adagios is still here. Uh, it's got a NEMS mobile UI. Uh, the TV dashboard, of course, which I've shown before. So, but the speeds are close to what I normally get. I'm not sure where the ping is as high as it is, but again, not something that I'm worried about, nor do I think it should be labeled critical at this moment. Um, okay, so really from this point, your configuration is going to differ from mine. You'll probably be on a different subnet you'll have different devices on your network than I do. And this is generally where, you know, my customizations are gonna differ from yours. Um, you know, for notifications, you can use a Gmail account and get your notifications sent. Uh, they've also got integrations with Telegram, Pushover and Webhook. So that's good there. You can set a password for the TV dashboard. Um, yeah, I mean, this has some good features. Definitely, definitely things have changed a little bit. I'm gonna to have to dive into the documentation a little bit further but I am, I am pretty happy with this. Let's 
see what their migrator utility looks like. NIMS migrator local backup, optional offsite backup service, and easy to restore your NIMS Linux server backup to replace a defective SD card or upgrade your NIMS server. Okay, so again, you could adopt a manual process for this and, you know, shut down your machine, clone your card, and keep that clone on hand in case you have a failure. You could also keep it as just an image file so that when you do have a failure at some point, you can just write it to a new card, plug it in and go. Uh, of course, you know, keep in mind, you'd have to do some updates in the process. I think this is a good stopping point. We've got it installed. It's up and running. Added a new user with a password. Okay, so we've logged out of the SSH session with our NEM server. And it's important to point out that once you have gone through the setup process and you've changed the username and password, you cannot log in any longer with NEMS admin with the password of NEMS admin. So you would have to log in with your new username and password you set. And you should get in with no problem. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to reboot the server. And we will watch that come back up and I'll wrap things up for today. Little glitch with my capture card. No big deal. For our purposes, it's working just fine. Okay, so it started up the way it should have, and we have our pertinent information, it's a Pi 4, and it gave us all that fun stuff. So on that note, we have reached the end of another video. If you got something out of this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. And if you could, click that bell icon for notifications. If you have questions or comments about the video or NEMS Linux specifically, head down to the comment section and leave those. I do review all comments that appear on my channel. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day. Bye for now.